What's up guys, Chris VA Travels. I'm down here in Whitfield, Virginia, and I'm at the birthplace of First Lady Edith Bowling Wilson, wife of President Woodrow Wilson. And a little museum here right in the middle of town. Uh, she was born up on the second floor. Uh, th this was a store at the time, and they've got it set up as a little museum, a bunch of artifacts, uh, memorabilia. So I'm just gonna do a little walk around. And yeah, a lot of information about her life. Born here in 1872, she lived here for the first 18 years of her life. So, before moving up to Washington, D.C. Uh, and marrying her first husband. And memorabilia for the president, uh, this is a golf cane. Kind of neat. These old stereoscopes, you see a lot of these. And uh, gives you kind of a 3D, 3D image when you look in there. So there they are, lovebirds. <laughs> Photos here in 1920. And uh, looks like the Red Cross over here. And this was a watch worn by President Wilson during the Paris Peace Conference. I was signing that Treaty of Versailles. And over here, she was the first honorary president of the Girl Scouts, and it kind of set a precedent uh, for future first ladies. And here's a kind of a medallion that they would give them. Um, I guess this is what the wall... Okay, there's, um, I guess, some wallpaper or... Uh, Looks like some fox hunting right there, some hounds. And here's the building uh, next door. It no longer stands, but a uh, prestigious building lived in by a Virginia governor. I don't know which one. What? And a uh, grandfather clock right here. It was owned by the Wilson family. They donated. This oil painting over here, a bowling relative referred to as Aunt Smith. Lived from 1808 until 1888. And, okay, I thought those were presidential plates, but it looks like some china from the bowling family. 1840s. And bowling antique child's chair. And this came from their house in D.C. Wicker table. Hmm. Oh yeah, and she's there's a plate right there with Pocahontas. She's a descendant of Pocahontas. Pretty neat desk right there. And the White House cookbook. Uh, belonged to First Lady, Miss Wilson. Pretty neat plate back there. And uh antique cradle right here um some books voices of the night uh christmas song book william shakespeare litchfield family bible 1842 dictionary dictionary of the bible more furniture that was donated oh and here's her driver's license <laughs> automobile operators permit from 1904 and uh, she famously drove an electric car around Washington DC that's pretty neat sampler 1826 pretty faded all right, so a uh, timeline over here. There's that picture of her when she was three years old. And there's her grandmother right there. There's her brother. A picture from upstairs, all the bird cages. Back of the house, presidential inauguration. Oh, that's her driving that electric car. 
Got a neat steering wheel on that thing. And there's that uh, Girl Scout medal. Uh, William Bowling. Oh yeah, Bowling Family Bible. 1852. Okay, you can see her signature on that one. Couple glamour shots. Short stories. All right, so Edith's sister, Bertha Bowling, wrote a short story in 1895. Hmm. Picture her again. Oh, yeah, and she briefly attended college over at the Martha, Martha Washington College out in Abingdon. I uh, did a walk around of Abington last year, if you want to see what that place is all about. Oh, and there is her husband, her first husband's jewelry store in Washington, D.C., Galton Brothers. Marriage license. And it's one of the houses they lived in, Washington, D.C. Okay, and there's uh, Woodrow Wilson's birthplace. I need to go visit that up in Staunton. She's meeting JFK up there. And yeah, this is a restaurant, 1950s. Um, her in the church. Oh yeah, all right. This is kind of a famous painting right there. John Rolfe and Pocahontas getting married. Here's the family tree. Oh, and she's also a descendant of the sister of Thomas Jefferson. So Mary Jefferson married John Bowling there. And yeah, there she is. So you can pause if you wanna read all that in detail. And some souvenirs over here. All right, taking a quick walk around the upstairs, and this is where the bowling family actually lived. And just a, they're renovating this area, and just a few plaques. Over here, the family tree. One of 11 kids right there. And this is our reenactor right there, um, showing off her wedding gown. This is a restaurant one time at one time, also a boarding house. And the room she was born in is back there to the left. Take a quick uh, walk back here. And <clears throat> yeah, like I say, they're renovating. They've got a couple uh, old items here. Sorry, it's pretty cold up here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you could tell there was a uh, stove fireplace there at one time. There she is with Woodrow, her second husband. And about 20 people lived, uh, lived up here at one time. She lived here, of course, with her 10 siblings, her parents, a couple of her aunts, two of her grandmothers. Um, this is uh, her father's uh, study. Her father was a judge from Bedford. And yeah, you could tell there was another little stove right there and Quick walk back here, little kid's bed. Oh, and they, uh, they were friends uh, with Jeb Stewart's mother. She would visit at times. Yeah, Miss Stewart. Uh, there used to be a walkway going down there. And this is a little write up on, on all of her siblings. So yeah, she lived here until about 18 when she went to Washington DC to visit her sister. And through her sister's husband, she met her first husband, that would be Galt, who was a jeweler in DC. Uh, he eventually, uh, he died about 11 years later, and then uh, that's when she met Woodrow Wilson and got married. 
Oh yeah, no, I forgot. There's a couple other things back here. I just real quick take a walk through. Like you see, you could tell this was a, a restaurant one time. I think in the fifties, he had said, and this is where the her grandmother, her maternal grandmother, who she was really close with, lived. Uh, she helped uh, educate her, and this is where she took care of her twenty six canaries. And this photo photo of Edith is from this corner right here. Old picture of the house. I guess that would be the back, a little garden right there. And uh, yeah, some old canary cages. Um, looks like this is where they did their laundry. <laughs> Hand washing machine. Boy, imagine cleaning clothes for 11 kids, I guess, uh, and everybody else in the house. Ooh, all right, and I think there are a couple other uh, rooms on the other side. I'll walk over to you real quick. Uh, there's some items in here. Old Singer sewing machine, a trunk, old flag. I think there are 50 stars on that. Hmm, I'm not sure what this is. Churn something in there. And the last, or not the last room, but... Uh, uh, looks like some ink wells over here. Sorry, I don't want to hold this guy up, so I don't need to be going so fast. Another stove, a couple old chairs, pretty cool backing on that thing. Pretty neat little kind of shelf right there. Oh, and let you know the hotel across the street is the Bowling Wilson Hotel. So I'm going to walk over there when I'm done here and See if I can take a take a look at what's in there. Um, here's a picture of her when she was three years old. <laughs> her family uh, kind of thought that she was an ugly baby. Um, a little child's chair, a little place to wash up right there. I think that's it, so I'm gonna go downstairs. All right, that's it for the birthplace of Edith Bowling Wilson. Pretty cool place, something to check out if you're ever in Whitfield. See ya.